Hello YouTube, this is me Indra. In the previous tutorial, I have updated the JTable when data is inserted into the database. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to update the data that is stored in the database. For this, we need a button that is update update button. So let me drag and drop a button from the swing control, and I will rename this button update. Then after I'll change its variable name to update button. Then after in order to perform the action, double click on the button. So this is the area where we have to code for the update button. So first of all we have to establish the database connection. The database connection code I have already done in the previous tutorial for sign in and also for save. So let me copy the database connection code and paste it in the update button action performed also let me copy the catch block also from here ok now we have to get the index of the selected row also we have to get the model of the table for selecting the row which is to be updated for this we have to declare one string variable and the other integer variable to store the selected row in model for this integer let me create a variable let me declare a variable name row equals to name of our table is let me see what is the name J table underscore display underscore user is our table name. Table name dot get selected row. This will select the root when we click on the table data. Then after we have to get the model. Let me store the model into the string variable. String value equals to name of our table is j table underscore display underscore user dot get model then after we have to get get its value dot get value at row comma zero and we have to convert this into a string so we will get the model of the data that is selected and stored it in the string variable value then after we have to use the statement update statement to update the data that is stored in the database for that let me define a variable declare a variable string query equals to our update statement begin from here update name of our table is users users set so name of our columns are name address gender knowledge and subject so name equals to what I will provide the value later on so place what right now address equals to what another one is gender equals to what knowledge equals to what and the last one is sound equals to what where symbol number equals to that is symbol number from the table symbol number equals to that we have get from the table model symbol number equals to plus value so based on the table model we have to update the data now we have to prepare the statement 
rest of the codes are similar to the stat, um, insert statement so let me copy and paste it from the code that we have done earlier from the in insert statement from the prepared statement i will copy the code and paste it up to g option pen dot show message dialog and paste it over here let me show you the code we have to prepare the st statement then after based on the prepared statement we have to insert the data that is update the data into the database so if male is selected gender equals to male will be updated and if female is selected gender equals to female will be updated similarly for knowledge if python if kurzawa is selected we have to insert kurzawa if python is selected we have to insert python and if both selected then we have to insert both in the database similarly for knowledge then after we have to execute the update that is we have to update the data that is stored in the database then after after the completion of the update we have to display the updated data into the J table for that we have used default table model and we have called the function so user which will refresh the database table in our interface then after gfsunpin.so message dialog box will display the message this is for update so updated successfully will be displayed when the code is when the code works so let, let me run in show you the output of this coding okay username and password match okay let me change this avinash if he lives in nepal guns sorry mohindra nagar is it does not matter even though If he knows both Java and Python, if he knows only Python, he is a student of education. So we have to, we will get the update over here. Let me see, show you. Okay, I have done the spelling mistake in the field knowledge. Let me arrange it. Okay, it is fine now. Let me run this code again. Select this. Then after, if he knows only Python, he is a student of education. Let me update this. Okay, it is updated over here. Similarly, let me update for Harka if he is from. if he knows only java he studies computer science let me update this okay it is updated over here so let me close this and show you the code once again hope you have understand the coding in the previous tutorial how to get the gender value from the user and store it in the database similarly for combo box and checkbox also we have done in the previous tutorial so thanks for watching in the next tutorial i'll show you how to delete the data that is stored in the database please subscribe my channel thank you